turn this shit off. All right. Let's talk about compromise. I'm going to give an unpopular opinion. The goal when it comes to compromise in a relationship is to not have to compromise much in your relationship. The goal is to not have to compromise as much because your values are aligned so there wouldn't be much to compromise about. You know, yeah, in theory, it sounds good to say that you should have compromise in your relationship, but really, a great relationship is one where you don't have to compromise that much. Now, you should know the art and skill and quality of knowing how to compromise compromise with somebody. You should know how to compromise when it comes to a situation where it's needed for a resolution, but it shouldn't be a part of your everyday routine. If you're always compromising in your relationship, it's not going to last that long because compromise is a breeding ground for resentment. Regardless of how much you love this person, if you're always compromising, you're going to resent them. Let's talk about compromise. Mm. <laughs> My brother said a lot compromise is overrated what do y'all think about this yeah do y'all think y'all think he, he got a valid point or what y'all think y'all think it need to be a bunch of compromising do y'all think you know you know you should just align yourself with somebody who y'all are so aligned that y'all really don't have to compromise too much because y'all on the same page what y'all think about this chef joe i'm gonna start with you man compromising in the relationship is it overrated what you think about this I don't think it's overrated because what, what the old saying is, um, opposite attracts. I mean, sometimes you got to compromise for the relationship to work. I mean, oh, I don't think it's, I don't know, but sometimes you need to compromise for the relationship to work, though, for real. Not now, all the time, but now you, you said <laughs> opposites attract. I agree with you that opposites attract, but do you think opposites tend to last in relationships, though? It depends on, on the people. So if, if they op so when you say opposite, what are, what are what are the things that you are considering to be opposite? Like if they got opposite goals and we're in in places, because a lot of people look at life as a destination. Me personally, I look at life as a journey. But a lot of people look at life like it's you know a destination. If they want to be in two different places, wouldn't that require them to have to forcefully kind of compromise to even be able to make it? Correct. Would that be good though for the relationship? Because that's a lot of sacrificing. And he said in the video, it creates a lot of resentment. You're right. You're right. You think you think you think that would be beneficial for that type of relationship? No, not for that relationship. No. Okay. So would you so you would you so you on the side of opposites attract, but like likeness makes it. There you go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dre, man, what you think about this, Dre? What you think about what bro said in the video, man? Is compromise overrated? Um, yeah, no. Because you gotta understand, when you're in a relationship, you do gotta compromise some. You know what I'm saying? Everything just can't be your way or the highway. Mm. You know, um, the person for you, you know, they might not they might not check all your boxes, you know, but they they still good people. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh but but then again, is it worth it? You know, is is it compromising worth it? That's a question you gotta ask yourself. Mm. Okay, okay. Big Dave, man. What you think, man? Man, is compromise overrated? What you think? I think compromise can be overrated in certain situations. Uh -huh. Like if you got a man and a woman got two different, completely, completely different upbringings. Yeah. And when it comes to kids, stuff like that, your outlook might be different than their outlook as far as the way you want to raise a kid, or the way you want to do things, and the way you want to live your life. And if if you was just raised, you know what I'm saying, like not to be. A particular way and you try to get forced to be a particular way i feel like that could push um push each other apart as far as not uh not seeing eye to eye with things like that so you so you agree that it, it would cause a lot of resentment <sighs> yeah it could in a sense Mike Joe, man, what you think about that? What you think about what my man said in the video, man? Compromise overrated? What you think? Uh, I like what he said, but I don't 
I don't really think it's overrated because I feel like some compromises is needed because I don't feel like everybody got the same. Nobody had the same vision, same goals, and none of that. But if you get with somebody, you're gonna have <clears throat> you're gonna have to have some type of compromise, regardless. Y'all ain't like you talk to somebody and they're they're they know everything or they're gonna do everything you want to do. Some stuff y'all might not agree with. It's really all about communication. So I don't really think it's overrated. So would it makes would it make sense to simply just get with somebody who you are that much aligned with so you don't have to compromise but so much? No. It's all about how you feel. And I don't I don't really necessarily gonna say uh just going off that. I just think I think communication is gonna play the part whether it's somebody you you know what I'm saying, compromise with a lot of don't compromise with at all. I just feel it's the communication that's gonna play a part in it. So would you would you agree that for most people for most circumstances, compromising is sacrificing, right? Yeah. Basic basic basically. Yeah. So do you think that would you do you think that would would you mm, let me see. Do you, do, do you think that would strain a relationship if you're making a bunch of sacrifices just to have to be with that person? Like, I, we know, we know <coughs> that you have some sacrifices, mm -hmm. but should mm -hmm. you be making a lot? Oh, so we're going off. You, we're, the question is, uh, you know, so you had to sacrifice everything. That's really well, not, not, not everything, but it's about how much are you willing to sacrifice, right? So that's why I asked the question of, wouldn't it make sense to kind of be with somebody you're more aligned with as far as goal wise, because then, and that's kind of what he was saying in the video where you don't have to sacrifice so much. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, I got you. I got you. But yeah, so like when you, you first shouldn't have to be sacrificing almost at every turn. Like that, like that's, that's no, nah, <laughs> nah, I, I, well, I got him messed up, man. Well, yeah, he, I mean, like I said, I, I, I like what he said, you know, I feel, you know, he said some, you know, some compromise. So yeah. Y'all not gonna agree on everything, bro. You're gonna compromise with something. <laughs> yeah. I had a question. Yes, sir. Um, which I can consider uh compromising settling in a way. I would um, ooh. not really I don't I don't think so. Y'all come y'all come to agree, y'all both got to agree on something, so yeah, but but that but but that's my that, definition that would be a, that would be that would be a settlement, right? So if yeah. we're compromising to get like how he said in the video that if we're gonna set if we're gonna compromise to get a resolution, that means we're coming to a settlement. Now for that person, okay. I think it would be a hard settle for them if we were to take that angle of the opposites attract and you're not that aligned with that person, and then you're making a whole bunch of concessions to make them happy. And you're not happy? Oh, you're definitely settled. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you What's the point settled? of compromising if you got to do that? If you feel that strong about how you, if, if you feel that strong in what you believe, then why, why do it? Well, well, okay. So, so, so some people fall in love and all that bullshit. Oh, so, so you telling me you? Okay, never mind. If, if, well, if we, people, well, get, people we, got we, kids. They do it for the kids. Yeah, Every, everybody, everybody up here, pretty much a millennial, I think, except Dre. Dre I think Dre a little young. I don't think Dre might not be a millennial. But the people who preceded us, our parents and grandparents, kind of fucked it up because that that happy wife, happy life was a big compromise. Ooh. Yes, sir. I mean, that was a that was a compromise, and it ain't really it ain't really working. It ain't really working too well, and we and we are the byproduct of that. And Maddie B, Maddie B in the chat, man. Shouts out to Matt, man. Hey, man, tell my dudes happy birthday. I know that's where you at. Uh, birthday. Maddie B says, too much compromise means you now compromise yourself. I agree wholeheartedly. Man, too much of it? I think you are sacrificing a lot on your end. You can't sacrifice who you are as a person to make somebody else happy. All right. Cause really, if you that, and I understand it, right? Like, so I know when it comes to compromising, I understand. Like most men, most men don't don't talk about certain things because, see, we talking about trauma, right? Mm. Most men don't want to talk about certain things, and 
most men hide under the blanket and like i said because those who preceded us held us under that umbrella this is what you're supposed to do you a man so a lot of them tough situations you're supposed to just stick it out they, they'll tell a man it ain't about your happiness well you got to be happy for mm-hmm. your, love looks like, your love looks like duty yeah. responsibility mm-hmm. that's what yours look like so happiness is placed where it doesn't matter but then we all know that when people are unhappy they gonna end up doing certain stuff. They gonna start cheating and doing all this kind of other stuff like that. So if we really gonna battle it. Is it really good to compromise if you in a family and every time you lay down, you wishing you had another family up the street, or you oh, wow. got another family up the street wishing that you were? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking a real question. We've all. I'm pretty sure all of us have known a man who has participated in this act. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. These, these, are the, these are the things we gotta discuss, man. We're talking about trauma and the things that build. And, and and what you gotta realize too is that man then move moving or, or choosing to act outside of the situation then creates a struggle love type situation where now you're creating a trauma on behalf of your woman. Cause you now hitting her with insecurities and now she can't function a certain degree. So it's gonna affect both parties. All parties involved, we'll just keep it like that. Yeah, and that and that could devastate, like you say, the kids or the people, yeah, around you. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it's so that's, where, that, that's where. So I'm like, I don't believe the overall statement of it's is overrated. I think it is necessary to a degree, but I do believe that if you get with somebody more, so who you more aligned with, you shouldn't have to do too much sacrifice in life. Too much sacrifice just sound like. A man, that man is doing what he's doing just to survive, and then he's gonna get out of that situation anyway. Some people will call that simp. Being a, well, no, I want to call that being a simp. Mm. Some people associate that with it, mm. doing everything for the woman and not yeah. doing nothing for yourself. Some people do associate that with that. If you ah. do that, you drive yourself in the dirt. And man, you never know you do shit yeah. like that. Hey, crazy if you do all that compromising and all that, and she's still acting the same or don't respect you, or uh, you know what I'm saying? Ain't really appreciative of it, you know? Or, or still cheat. That what gets me. 